Hello, my name is Steven Seiko. Welcome to my tutorial on how to use a Combine Cash Book program, CCB program, which I've created especially for the head teachers of primary and elementary schools in Papua New Guinea. I am using the voice for David from Microsoft. This program does all the financial calculations for the year, revenues, and expenses, both cash transactions and bank transactions. It contain printouts for the monthly school financial return budget analysis form, which automatically collects financial transactions data and records them into their respective months all through the year. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your school's annual budget, enter your daily revenues and expenses, and print out your monthly financial report at the end of each month. Right now, what you are seeing on your screen is my desktop background. You can pause this video each time to follow the steps carefully which I am about to show you. Let's begin, make a new copy for that particular year, and open it by double clicking on it or right click and select open, from the drop down list. When it opens, you will see, some cells are grey and others are light yellow. On each of those light yellow colored cells is where you enter the necessary values and set up your annual budget for that year. The first cell under basic details, is where you enter your school name. Your school name is necessary in your monthly printouts. For me, I will type in Yamamoto Primary School in that section. After you type your school name, enter the district in which your school is located. For me I will type Bin because Yamamoto Primary School is located in Bin District. After that, you enter the number of communities, I will enter 4. Where it says number of family heads I will enter 98. Then on the next cell you enter a number of students enrolled this year. I will enter 225 in here. On the second last cell, under basic details you enter the number of teachers houses occupied. I will enter 8. Finally you enter year, this year is 2019, I will enter 2019 in here. You have completed filling up your basic details. On the right, you enter the annual fees for the different income sources. In the first cell where it says school fee, I will enter 100 because the school fee for each student this year is 100 kina. The annual rental fee for each teacher's house is 120 kina, I will enter 120 in here. Project fee is 50 kina per family head, I will enter 50. Tuition fee is 230 kina per year for each student, therefore I will enter 230. Fundraising target by each community is 1000 kina, I will enter 1000 in here. Annual fees per capita category is completed. After entering all these information, can see your annual estimated revenue is already calculated using the values you've entered. Here have 84,110 kina as estimated revenue. Now let's move on to allocating the budget into each of the quarters. Let's say 20% of the annual budget is allocated for the first quarter, 30% of the annual budget for the second quarter, another 30% for the third quarter and the remaining 20% for the last quarter, which is automatically being set already. Let's scroll down a bit and set up a budget for each of the following main categories under expenditure. We have six main categories here, such as curriculum development, staff development, admin and management, students welfare, infrastructure development and community participation as the last one. In here I will set 20% of the annual budget for curriculum development, which is 16,822 kina in this example. 5% of the annual budget for staff development, which is 4,205 kina 50 toya. 30% of the annual budget for admin and management, which is 25,233 kina. 10% for student welfare, which is 8,411 kina. 25% for infrastructure development, which is 21,027 kina 50 toya. 
and the remaining 10% of the annual budget for community participation, which is again 8,411 kina. All of the annual revenue is now budgeted into each of the main focus areas of expenditure. After entering the percentages for the main categories of expenditure, we have to do amount allocations of the amount at each category into the focus areas. Let's say 30% for basic materials, 20% for resource books, 15% for equipment, 10% for library books and 25% for textbooks. Under staff development, let's enter 20% for in-service, 25% for workshop, 25% for meetings, 20% for events and 10% for courses. Under admin and management, I will put 15% for typing and printing, 30% for admin trips, 15% for admin meetings, 15% for furniture and equipment, and 25% for general admin. Under student welfare, let's say all the five focus areas will get 20% each. 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. Under infrastructure development, let's give 40% of the amount which is 8,411 kina to new infrastructure, to major maintenance let's put 25% of the amount for infrastructure development, 10% for minor maintenance, 15% for new furniture and 10% for furniture maintenance. Under final category, community participation, let's give all as 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20 which is 1,682 kina 20 toya each in this example. After you finish setting up your budget for the year, move on to data entry sheet, this is where you record your revenues and expenses. First of all, you must enter balance brought forward from last year's budget. In this example I will enter 1,250 kina as balance in cash, and 4,000 kina as balance brought forward in bank. At times, whenever you do payments or receipt, record them into the following cells. For example, in this tutorial, let's say on January 29th, school fee received was 2,500 kina in cash. In the first two columns you select the month and the date. In the next column under details, let's type in school fee. In the next column, where it says reference number, enter the receipt number or invoice number. I will skip this column. In focus area column you select from the drop down list, the particular focus area in which this transaction comes under. I will select school fee in here. In receipts column under cash transaction, I will enter 2500 kina because it is the amount paid in cash on this date of January 29th. In January 29th again, School fee received was 3,000 in bank. The money received must be entered into the receipt columns. Once again in the first two columns you select the month and the date. In the next column under details, let's type in school fee. In the next column, where it says reference number, enter the receipt number or invoice number. I will skip this column. In focus area column you select from the drop down list the particular focus area in which this transaction comes under. I will select school fee in here. In receipts column under bank transaction, I will enter 3000 kina because it is the amount paid in bank on this date of January 29th. Let's say on February 2nd, some school fees were received. 1500 kina in cash and 1200 in bank. Once again in the first two columns you select the month and the date. In the next column under details, you type in the details, I will type school fee in here. In the next column, where it says reference number, enter the receipt number or invoice number. I will skip this column. In focus area column you select from the drop down list, the particular focus area in which this transaction happens. I will select school fee in here. In the receipts column under cash transaction, I will enter 1500 kina here, two transactions happened on the same date, I will also enter 1200 kina in the receipt column under bank transaction. 
This means if two different transactions happen on the same date, you can also enter them in the same row as what I have done here. Let's say some students paid project fee on February the 4th. Again enter the month and the date in the first two columns. Enter details in the next column, I will type in project fee. I will again skip the reference number column and select project fee from the drop down list under focus area. It was 1000 kina in cash, I will enter 1000 kina in receipt column under cash transaction. Let's say, on the date of February the 10th, 5 liter petrol was purchased. Enter the month and date in the first two columns, February 10th. In the detail column I will type in purchase. 5 liter petrol at 6 kina per liter. Again I will skip reference number here. And from the drop down list under focus area, I will select general admin. It was paid in cash, and therefore, I will enter 5 liter times 6 kina, which is 30 kina in the payment column under cash transaction. After you do any transaction, either cash or in bank, enter them in here. And save them before you close this Excel window. Now let's click on Setup and Budget Sheet. In the School Fee column, you can see, the actual school fee paid is 8,200 kina. And the outstanding school fee amount is 14,300 kina. As we scroll down, you can see, in the focus area of general admin, annual budget amount is 6,308 kina 25 toya. Actual spending is 30 kina. And 6,278 kina 25 toya is left so far. Scroll down a bit. In January cash receipt is 2,500 kina. In February cash receipt is also 2,500 kina and cash payment is 30 kina. On the right, bank receipt in January is 3,000 kina. And bank receipt in February is 1,200 kina. Scroll down again. The 2019 actual income is the sum of the balance brought forward and the actual revenue. In here is 14,450 kina. You can also see, the expected annual revenue, total actual revenue and outstanding revenue. Below here shown the total actual expense so far. And finally the current actual balance in cash and in bank. Clicking on each of these sheets, from January to December, you can see the school financial return budget analysis form. You can print your monthly financial report in each of these cells. You can print each one of these at the end of each month. I think that's all for now. Thank you once again and goodbye.